<laughs> Vincenzo's Go Crypto Investing, where you like, subscribe, and most importantly, hit that bell notification for all your breaking news, coin updates, blockchain technology, and information and laws and regulations as we head into the cashless society as I'm being repeatedly censored and uh, suppressed by the powers that be that are trying to restrict this information. So it's very important to push us through the YouTube algorithm. Hit that like button, comment down below, hit the bell notification and share this channel far and wide to stay up to date on all the breaking news. Good. Right after the bear market rally, you can see from its high now, it's been at a substantial fall. And this is to be duly noted as old Vincenzo has been touting a big financial crisis, right? A stock market collapse, a liquidity crisis, and a sovereign debt problem that we could be coming into as the Fed started to take the cheap money away. And you can see the stock market is now down at current price, roughly 18, almost 19, 20% now again. It's in a bear market. We had a big, ferocious bear market rally back here, which is to be expected. Bear markets have some of the strongest rallies that you'll see in a short period of time. Right there was one of them just to get everyone thinking the good times are rolling again and the good times are back, and then the floor gets dropped out, the side tightens, the side gets more hawkish, and the, and the risk assets are starting to cascade. As we're starting to see foreign currencies, as they've been so beaten down and depressed, they're actually starting to sell government bonds, U.S. government bonds, to jack up the interest rate in the U.S. and to start strengthening their own local currencies and not trying to protect the dollar by debasing Foreign, foreign countries that buy our treasuries and bonds have been debasing their local currencies uh, to prop up the dollar, right, to continue to borrow and get money from the United States. Well, now in a lot of these countries, it's getting so bad, they're actually starting to do the right thing for their local currency and their local people. They're starting to sell government bonds, U.S. government bonds, which is raising interest rates in the United States, right? And it's helping to prop up their currency. They're stopping the debasement of their currency, and they're starting to strengthen their local currency, which gives a native more purchasing power in his own country versus less purchasing power and a lower standard of living. It's going to start to affect the United States and, uh, by them doing that with raising our interest rates as they're already getting high, but it's going to help strengthen local currencies, and that's going to be a trend that needs to be paid attention to as countries start to look to help themselves instead of the propping up the dollar and they start strengthening their local currencies instead of debasing them, right? But right now, the United States dollar's been on a tear. You can see the Ethereum price after a ferocious sell-off getting rejected at that 17,600, uh, $1,767.76, which is the major resistance box up here, which is the volume indicator. And now you're coming at it from the bottom side so you would expect it to act as bearishness. And you can see right there, it's acted as bearishness after you bounced off this blue support zone and this green fib circle. And you can see now we're getting supported on the top part of this uh, blue support box. And as we do know, if we get any kind of pump, the uh, $1,494.76 is your initial major upper resistance. And then you work into this green fib circle and the bottom part of this red trading box, which is the volume indicator, would be major resistance up there at about $1,706.87. But our next downside target, once you breach and clear through this $1,080, is you're going to come all the way down to the 747.23. I don't know if it's this week, next week, the week after, or next month, but I know all I'm saying is before you get up here, right, this is how I make it simple. Before you get anywhere up in there, 2800 3000 4000 you're coming down here in the shorter time frames of 747.23 Ethereum holders. Write that down on your notebook. Just like XRP, before you get to a dollar, you're coming sub 20 cents, right? And if we look at the Bitcoin price, you can see the Bitcoin price is still sitting at this 19,310 uh, major blue traded area, major support. And if you break that, you're going to come quickly down uh, to the 16,000. 598.54 cent level, and that's an area I'm watching out for in the next week or two. And then, as you do know, old Vincenzo's been touting as this economic crisis continues in this crypto winter that started two years ago almost, or a year and three quarters ago, right here when we started making our channel, when we were topping out 
at the beginning, at the end of the crypto uh, side induced pump, but the COVID uh, money monetary fiscal uh, disaster that they were just throwing money around everywhere. When we were at the tail end of this consolidation, which was a symmetrical triangle, or a, yes, a uh, rising wedge, not a symmetrical triangle. When we got right here, we told you, if you, once you broke that, that started a multi-year crypto winner. And you can see we initially fell 50%, formed a descending triangle, and broke to the upside out of that in a ferocious bear market rally. And now you can see as we've worked our way another year past that, we're down to some suppressed lows. And as you do know, old Vincenzo has this target down here. I don't know how this keeps getting moved. It makes no sense. Where did it go? Oh, I had a target down there. It's a mystery target now. I don't know where it went. Uh, it used to be floating around. There it is. I don't know how this thing keeps getting moved, but we have a $13,336 Bitcoin price target, which was made when the price was way up here, right, on this initial flush. Uh, when we were steam we like we were forming a mountain double top, and that is where I think we're going to go sometime by the end of this year or very early next year, but I think we're going to hit that $13,000 target before the year is over, and what I would be watching out for is a breakdown below this blue traded box, is that your major flush zone to where you would come all the way down close to that $10,000 level, because I could see lows somewhere around uh, as low as $3,000 quite possibly, but south of 10000 you will hit for at least some time in this crypto winter. Peace and love to you, Yashu, the beautiful 